Hello everyone, I'm the Lonely Hunter, back to you with some more Crisis 3 gameplay and this time I would like to address some things that uh, I have noticed while I was playing the multiplayer and uh, it is basically about the movement because uh, you know that movement in Crisis 3 is uh, a really crucial thing when you want to succeed in multiplayer when you want to have some fun, get your kills and own the other team and uh, the thing that I've noticed is um, that uh, people don't move in a way that is beneficial to their game style and uh, this is why they don't do well in crisis, this is why they don't have a good time and uh, this is why they get so much frustrated and uh, they just leave the game. So basically it is uh, all about your class selection. Well, uh, if you select to use an assault rifle like I am using right here then uh, of course what you are going to do is uh, trying to run around the map but uh, run around in a way that doesn't hurt your energy management try to run around in a way that uh, whenever you are running cloaked then after that you are running in um, the sealed mode and uh, in this way you can effectively traverse around the map you can effectively move around the map and uh, half the time you will be unnoticed and uh, half the time you will be protected by your shield so it will always be something beneficial to you but generally keep running around the map keep running at the perimeters and uh, try to just have your eyes in the center as well so basically when you choose to use an assault rifle class you have to do the all arounder things you have to do everything that um, is possible and uh, you have to keep an eye on uh, every single direction just keeping the range of you and uh, your opponents as um, close as possible and uh, next i would like to address uh, the shotgun class well uh, the shotgun class is um, a pretty good class when you are an all-out rusher when uh, you want to run a lot now this time you shouldn't give a damn about your energy you shouldn't give a damn about being cloaked or not you just have to get all up in your enemy's face you have to get there as fast as possible because generally immobility kills you and uh, you have to be in positions that are favorable to you and uh, these situations are mostly the ones that uh, you are bunny hopping around with your shotgun or you are just flanking from left or right from the map perimeters to the center again so when you are using the shotgun you have to act as an all-around rusher then after that we have the sniper class the thing that i see in most matches of crisis 3 that i play is that uh, the snipers are just immobile that uh, the snipers are staying in one particular position they try to dominate that position they try to stay there and uh, this is a pretty wrong tactic because uh, using a sniper rifle already makes you vulnerable but uh, after killing an enemy once or twice he will come back for events and uh, you know that in close range the battle is more in the favor of the guy who is more agile to the guy who is uh, doing the moves to the guy who is doing the maneuvers so generally snipers don't stand a chance in close quarters combat because uh, they might not have that flexibility in movement and um, what you need to do when you are using a sniper rifle is uh, basically try to go around the perimeter slowly but steadily and um, just using that steady pace to take out opponents whenever you take one opponent you have to pick another spot around the perimeter and then another and then another and try to do some laps around the map like that just don't stay in a position too much of course you will need some stability of course you will need to cut some breath of course you will need to stop a little bit to see your surroundings but uh, never be only in one position having a sniper doesn't restrict you from moving around and uh, this is what you should do next up we have the classes that uh, are mostly you know the smg class the smg class is kind of between the assault rifle class and the shotgun class you can do pretty much a both but uh, you have to stay as close to your opponents as possible well in the special situation that um, you are using your bow you are a hunter let's say in that game well uh, then you have to do exactly the opposite thing of uh, what we talked about in the other classes well uh, basically you have to stay immobile you have to 
stay in a certain spot, in a certain position that uh, is powerful and uh, that uh, you have an overview of uh, the map and uh, you can pretty much control most of the real estate of the map and uh, this will give you an advantage over mobile targets. Basically what you need to do is to maximize your accuracy because the bow is uh, a really powerful weapon and you can become pretty annoying by having a really good view of your opponents by having some pretty good accuracy with it. So generally try to do that, try to stay in one position with the bow, it never hurts anyone and uh, of course try to use your shield, try to use your cover, try to use your cloak because um, cloaking when you are having the ability to use the bow is uh, really beneficial because uh, people cannot see you and people will not see what hit them basically. So what you need to do with all the other classes is just run around and change from cloaking to shielding and uh, this is pretty much the tactic that uh, you need to use. Well, about the lethals right now, about the smoke grenades, about uh, the frag grenades, well, um, generally I'm not in favor of those, but uh, when you see an enemy who is immobile, who is in a certain spot trying to dominate it, first off, try to throw a smoke grenade or try to throw a frag grenade just to distract them, it is uh, the best way to take them out, and... Um, it's not always the best way to take them head on because uh, sometimes the battle may not be that good because you might be double teamed, there might be another opponent who is uh, right around the corner, they might be camping all together so the situation might not be favorable to you. So throwing some nades, throwing some smoke grenades might be some good strategy. About the secondary, the secondary should be your last resort, should be the thing that you should use only when you are about to die or only when you don't have many bullets left in your clip and uh, there is no other reason pretty much to use a secondary in Crisis 3 because secondaries even though they are pretty much balanced, they are not overpowered as well, they are not uh, pretty amazing to use, they are not um, all around guns, they are not all purpose guns. So you can use them as a last resort to take out enemies because a headset with um, a secondary gun is uh, really beneficial to your style and uh, it will give you the most out of your gameplay because um, at a close situation, at a fair gunfight, the guy who has more shield of course will win but uh, generally if you have the ability to turn on to your secondary after you realize that uh, your clip is running empty you will just outsmart your opponent who is trying to reload at that time or who is trying to avoid some of your bullets by bunny hopping and trying to reload at the same time so generally you have that flexibility in combat so these are the tips that I would like to share with you guys, these are the things that um, I have noticed that not many people pay attention to in multiplayer and I would like them to be enforced, I would like you to become better at Christ 3 and not just get frustrated with the game, I am out guys, I will see you guys later, peace!